Hey everyone, uh, this is Nikki Rowland and today I have a layout for Go Go Getaway. Um, it's one of our challenges, um, it's a colour challenge uh, from our recent retreat. So for anyone who hasn't been on our Go Go Getaway retreats, um, every time we hold them, which is three times a year, uh, we have um, eight Be Inspired challenges as well as other ones as well. We have a pre-retreat challenge and we have um, other bits and pieces going on too. But this is one uh, for, um, this is the colour challenges for one of the Be Inspired uh, challenges that we always run. So um, yeah, this is a colour challenge. Um, I set the challenge and I chose uh, really pretty colours um, and uh, I have used Jen Hadfield Pebbles, um, the Avenue collection. It's extremely pretty. It has the gingham in, which is in the colour scheme, um, so I've decided to go for that. Um, now, these challenges are for our retreat um, ladies who actually attend uh, the retreats. These these ones aren't f uh, on like the cyber crop ones; they're for the actual retreats. Uh, of course, we haven't had any retreats this year. Sadly, uh, we've had to go virtual for all of them. Um, but hopefully, one day we'll get back. Um, and we've had a great time online doing the virtual uh, retreat. We've sent out kits to everybody and. Um, had a really lovely time online um, doing the same thing we would be doing if we were at the hotel, but just in our craft rooms. <laughs> uh, right, okay, so back to this layout, which as I said is one of the Be Inspired uh, challenges. Um, I am using the Avenue by um, Jen Hadfield, as I said earlier, and I really loved the gingham in the color scheme uh, challenge, so I've gone for the piece of gingham paper from the Avenue. I have gutted it, so I've taken uh, I've made it to about a one inch border so I've gutted 11 inches out of the middle and then I've distressed the edges of the internal edges of that border and stuck it onto a piece of white. Now normally I would stick my white on top of the border but this time I did it differently so I also raised the edges up on foam pads to give it some um, extra dimension um, and uh, to just make it look like my layout was sitting within the frame rather than sitting on top of the frame if, if that makes sense. Um, okay, so I have a photo of my boy. Um, he is seven and he is continuously snuggled up on our sofa, uh, wrapped in bedding. <laughs> um, so this is one of those many photos. He's always completely wrapped up um, and uh, just sitting on the sofa, chilling out, watching a bit of TV. So I have a photo of him doing that um, and uh, I'm going to use the title Stay Cozy because um, that's works really well <laughs> um, and I'm going to put lots of houses on this layout because he's at home he's a real home bird so um, houses definitely suit any layouts with Max in them um, so just going through the the Avenue collection I have the ephemera the stickers sticker book um, and some papers um, so those tags that I've got behind the photo are from one of the papers I then fussy cut a load of flowers now the reason I did that was because I wanted to bring in all of the colours on the colour scheme um, and uh, the flowers totally did that job for me. So they had all of the colours in that I needed uh, so I have brought those in um, in that way. So I've just fussy cut a few. They're from a sheet of pattern paper. It has a green background with lots of these floral sprays on them. So I've just cut around those um, and then layered those with the tags and the photo. Um, I can't decide on the layout. I wanted to have a diamond shape in the middle of this layout but I just wasn't getting on with it. So I've now turned it round so that it's square um, and uh, I definitely like that better so I'm gonna stick uh, with that design um, and um, and yeah so I'm just it's the same design really with the cluster bottom right and the photo cluster top left um, but uh, I've just turned that piece around from the middle which is like was a diamond shape and is now square um, so and that works really well so I'm, I'm super happy with them um, with how that looks so I'm gonna go for that and uh, commit and stick it down of course the edges of that middle piece are distressed um, and I'm just going to bend them up a little bit more as well so they have extra dimension um, okay, so now I can actually go ahead and get my photo um, stuck in place uh, with my tags, get everything, I can commit to everything now is, is my point, um, so I can go ahead and get everything stuck down. Um, so <clears throat> just pierced holes in my tags and I'm going to wrap some gold thread um, around those. i um, having trouble finding some gold thread, somebody's gone off with it, um, so I have to go and get a new one out and uh, start a new reel. Um, I have three children who are all magpies and come into my craft room and think, oh, that's shiny and pretty, I'll just take that. And they go and just put it in their room. Not gonna do anything with it, but just 
because they like it and it's just there and I find things in random places around the house think oh that's mine that's mine that's mine and then in my craft room that's not mine that's not mine um so so you know when you have small children you have things in very random places around the house right so that certainly happens here um okay so um on the one of the papers there was a whole sheet of squares so I've cut out one of those and I'll, you can see it there the house on it um I like the house uh, but I'm not too sure about how it's looking inside that square to the left because obviously I have a big square thing going on here I'm not sure that adding another square is going to work um and it means it's quite a big square it's two inches so therefore it's going to really cover up a lot of my flowers and that whole area there is very floral and curved whereas a square is obviously angular so I know my photo is angular but um, yeah I'm not, I'm not sure about that that might move um, but um, I'm liking the shape of how it's looking with the uh, houses in the bottom uh, right and the photo cluster top left I like the gold thread that's now in the uh, tags that looks really pretty um, I've just put an extra paper layer under my photo now I don't have a huge amount of this collection remaining um, so um, I don't want to mount my photo entirely I just want to use a little bit of leftover paper um, and I've just um, stuck that under the um, bottom right corner of the photo um, and distressed it as well so it gives an extra layer but it's not a full layer around the whole photo um, as I would normally do um, over in the bottom um, bottom right corner I've got my two houses they are from the ephemera pack um, they're colorful houses um, then at the bottom I've got another house which is a sticker and another gold house which is from the ephemera oh I haven't added the sticker yet um, and uh, some more of the flowers from the um, fussy cut piece of paper that I was using too um, and then um, just adding in I've added in some gold thread I think um, at the on the bottom cluster as well um, so um, yeah I'm just basically trying to mirror um, what's going on in the two diagonal corners it just not, doesn't have to be the same by any way shape or form um, but just wanted to repeat some of the elements um, so that it matches and, and looks looks nice um, so uh, I'm pulling through the flowers into both um, I'm pulling in houses into both um, so uh, yes yeah. so anyway I've solved my issue with the two inch square didn't like that very much um, so I've now put a die cut uh, sorry, an ephemera house um, to the uh, um, onto my photo um, and that works really well I'm happy with that I think it's because it's longer you know the square was um, short and wide because it's a square um, and the house is tall and narrow which worked well with my photo because my photo is a portrait orientation too so um, that worked a lot better and the tags are portrait orientation too so you know all of that kind of just brings brings it in um, and uh, makes sense together so yeah doing doing that so I'm happy with that so committing and sticking that down and then adding another little tiny house as well from the ephemera and one of the gold ones as well I think that house might be fussy cut I'm not sure um, but anyway um, several houses several several houses um, okay so adding in some gold twine as well that is um, again mirroring what I've got at the bottom right um, so I've got that element up there I've already got the gold in the tags but I normally like to include a um, some twiddles of gold thread as well um, and uh, now I'm just going through the rest of the embellishments that I have for this collection to work out if there's anything else that um, I can use so I really love that stay cozy title it works so well uh, for this layout and this um, my the story of my little boy who has to be cozy all the time um, and uh, I thought I would bring in some a wooden frame um, it has the word love on it um, but as much as I love that um, I haven't managed to get that bit in I just wanted a bit poking out but I wanted to save the word love uh, to use somewhere else so hopefully I'll get that on a different layout at some point uh, but I've just poked the frame um, to the right of the photo and then my stay cozy is balanced on there so it's uh, yeah really that looks that works fine um, so now I'm coming in with some bramble fox perspective so I, I have this beautiful set of leaves and acorns they're kind of oak leaves um, and acorns um, and I have uh, some left over from another set too which have the maple leaves in um, so I'm just going to use up some of those um, on this layout they look so pretty they go so beautifully with this collection um, and I say I have leaves I have a whole leaf thing going on and uh, flower thing going on here um, and it is autumn when this photo was taken so um, that works um, and uh, yeah so I'm just um, 
putting those in, slotting those in wherever I can. If you haven't seen the autumn leaf leaves uh, by Bramble Fox, they are seriously beautiful. Um, they have got um, gold ones, which are kind of shimmery and super pretty. Um, then they have the frosted um, brownie ones. There's some oak leaves like that. And then the maple leaves, I think are a different set. They have etching on, so they have actually the um, veins of the leaves etched into them really gorgeous and um, the acorns also have detail on them too so etching de detail um, to give them that slightly different look at the top section you know the cup that the acorn sits in um, that's a little bit different and looks really gorgeous as well so the leaves and acorns this year from Bramble Fox were absolutely stunning so if you haven't picked yourself any of those up and you need to do some autumn scrapbooking then uh, go ahead because they will be a beautiful addition to your page um, I'm also bringing in some gold leaves from the Avenue collection. Um, by the way, the Avenue collection is available from Lottie Loves Paper um, and uh, she still has quite a bit of it in stock. So head over there uh, to pick up this collection if you want it. They are our on-site shop, or they would have been if uh, we were on-site. <laughs> um, but they have lots of lovely things over there too. So just finally adding some um, sequins by Spiegel Mum Scraps. Um, I pulled out my autumn -y colors, um, but actually that didn't really work uh, because th these colors are kind of um, greens and pinks and blues um, and black and white. So the orangey autumn colors didn't really work too well, but I've pulled a few out, I've taken out some of the brown ones, they work. Um, and then I picked out some pink ones from another set um, and then I'm just going to scatter those little that little mix I'm kind of creating my own little mix there um, and uh, I'm just going to scatter those um, around my two clusters um, and uh, yeah it's all coming together so I'm just going to get those stuck in place now using my paper piercing tool and some glossy accents um, don't forget that as at Go, Go, Go Getaway we also run cyber crops every month um, we've been doing that ever since we went into lockdown back in March 2020 um, but um, we are continuing those until the end of this year and uh, we might do them next year as well we're, we're still deciding um, but uh, they've been going really well everyone seems to really enjoy them we have it's free there you just go to the main Go Go Getaway group um, and uh, join in so there's two things you have to do to join in with those. You have to register on the uh, Bingogo thread, uh, which is a thread that goes up a few days before, maybe a week before. Um, and uh, that way you get entered into the overall prize draw. So it's a Bingogo draw um, and uh, everyone can and who signs up for that thread can uh, be entered into that. Um, and then um, we have four challenges throughout the day as well, um, every uh, cyber crop day. And at the moment we've been holding them once a month and we've been having prizes for every challenge. So um, yeah, come along and join in. Um, and the next one I think is around the 21st of November, I think. So that will be the next one. Um, okay, so hopefully we'll see you over there. Um, right, I am just um, adding some splashes of white paint. You saw me add my journaling along the bottom edge and the uh, and the right um, edge of the middle square. Um, so that's my layout finished. And now I'm just adding some splatters of white paint. And that's it done. Um, I hope you enjoyed that layout. I really enjoyed making it. I love this collection. I love the colors. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you so much for joining me. That was Nikki Rowland for Go Go Getaway.